What's up, guys and gals? Anthony here, Special Analysis. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, today, I want to talk about Etsy. All right, uh, some news releases just came out. They um, they laid off about 11 percent of their entire staff. So, some negative news for a stock that may very well be starting to recover. I leave that still kind of yet to be seen. All right. Um, as the S&P and NASDAQ reaching new highs, you can see Etsy is certainly uh, not necessarily partaking in uh, a similar kind of uh, outcome, at least not at the moment. So I, I got a couple thoughts here from a very short term basis. This is, hey, what's going to transpire potentially in the next couple of days, maybe even the next week or two. Um, if we hold this level that we're at right now, we stay above, call it 80 bucks. Uh, probably we press higher towards 90, okay? Uh, we would then need to settle above that channel line overhead right here in order to potentially retest 100, followed by 115, followed by 140, would kind of be my next objectives through this area. Now, none of that matters until, unless, here, let me zoom in so it's a little more easy to see, so here is the price action, right? So you can see that we have had some buying volume come into the market, right? The market moves based on two components, volume, price action, right? We need to understand those two components. How do they come together in the market? How, if we understand them, are we able to better interpret not only what's happening in the moment, but what's likely to happen next, right? Those are the, those are the key components to being a consistent, successful, profitable trader. Now, it's just obviously one of the many things that you need to master to, to be proficient in this business. But if you have the foundation of price action and volume, uh, everything else that you layer into that is only going to support what price action and volume is doing. Because if you don't have these two components as your foundation, you are ultimately lost uh, and, and you're lacking something that is extraordinarily important. So let's talk about this a little bit here. So my bigger price action picture, obviously you can see impulse, little correction here at this trend line impulse, big consolidation off of this channel structure. We break through it, take a huge gap down. We impulse, I mean, hesitate. And so, you know, we've been clearly in a very aggressive selling mode. Now we've broken this longer term channel structure. And I create these channel structures using weekly charts. We're currently looking at a daily chart. And the reason I, I've just used traditional analysis my entire trading career is because when I first started to get into this business, when I first started to try to understand what price action was and how it operates and all those things, uh, I realized that I needed a, a very traditional uh, approach to the market. Now, employing any indicator, any software, any anything else that you desire to employ in your trading should be something that helps you build upon the foundation, right? So how do we take a, a tool or a component or an indicator, whatever it may be, and, and add that to enhance our understanding of price action and volume? If we're not enhancing our our uh, ability to interpret those two things, then we're we're just doing it's it's just something extra to look at, okay? And, and and we don't need more than than we absolutely need. So on this chart, very basic here, this is Hawkeye volume, the Hawkeye heat map, which measures trend strength on three uh, different calculations. And then the trend dots, which you can see populating here on the screen, which represent, you know, what the price action is doing through interpretation. You can see the trend dots uh, do coincide fairly well with the heat map. So what we're looking for is trend dot, supporting volume, heat map, and then we go right down to price action and go, can we find a low risk, potentially high probability area that the market may make sense. So as I started this video off, Etsy came out with some news, laying off 11% of their staff. They're suffering in these current economic conditions. But the question is for us as traders, 
this market's been in an uptrend here. Um, you know, for the past couple of weeks, we've been kind of trending higher. So is this an opportunity to potentially take a base hit trade that could potentially turn into more? So we know that fundamentals initially cause an emotional reaction. The market thrives on two things, fear and greed. That's it. Okay? That everything comes down to fear and greed. What you ultimately see on the chart is a battle between those two emotions among buyers and sellers and market participants. So from the current area, you know, we're currently sitting at about 81 and change. You can see we had this nice push higher, good amount of buying volume coming into the market here, uh, had this price surge, had a correction, right? We always want to define support uh, when we're looking to buy. We want to define a pullback when we're looking to buy. And, and I think that we did that really well right here. This area here was an area where buyers and sellers transacted. Ultimately, the buyers regained strength, uh, setting a new higher low, and we've continued to make higher highs, so on and so forth. So if we bought this current levels, 81 and change, we could take a fairly small risk, less than 5%, to see if we can capture about 10%. So that's a two to one risk reward ratio. Right? That's a pretty good starting point in my book. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not going to want more than that, but it does necessarily mean that for the risk I'm going to take, uh, less than five, that I'm looking to start taking profit at more than double that. So over 10% would be my kind of starting point for potential profit taking. All right. So at this point, I would want to employ my methodology of paying and protecting myself. Right? That's my risk management plan. I want to get into the market. Uh, I want to take a low risk, very calculated. Then I want to start paying and protecting myself. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take partial profits here at 90. And I'm going to move my stop to break even because there's a chance that when we push through 90 into this channel structure that we may get a pullback. Now, if the market's strong, that pullback is going to be shallow. And then we're going to break through this channel line. If this channel line provides enough resistance, it's going to test and it's going to fail. But I do know that from my current level, my risk is less than 5%. My first reward taking opportunity is more than double that, a little over 10%. Now, if the market does continue this recovery, if we do continue to grind higher, if this is just a reaction to the news for Etsy, which did pull back perfectly into support, and we can get above this channel line, now we're going to target 100. Beyond 100, we're going to target 115 for more profit taking. Beyond 115, we're going to target 140. Now, what do I think is going to happen near term? I think that achieving 90, if we do go higher, is probably an objective that we'll see before year end. All right, so I'm going to put a two, roughly a two week, um, roughly a two week expectation here. Okay, so two to three weeks is probably what's reasonable. Beyond that, getting above this channel line is going to be considered what we would call a long-term buy signal, right? So if we're able to achieve that long-term buy signal, uh, you know, this at 100 is probably, I would say, a one to two month objective. Beyond that to 115, probably a three to five month objective. And a 140 objective, if we ultimately make that strong of a recovery, I would say that's probably a nine to 12 month recovery. Now, can all this happen much faster or much slower? Of course. I'm giving you, based on prior price action interpretation, I'm giving you what my estimation would be. But for the very near term, um, especially if we could get good Fed funds rate uh, news this afternoon, Etsy could surge into 90 pretty quickly. What may take before year end may only take a couple days. This may just be a very short term reaction. It may not be. We're still finding that out. But what's important is this little area that I have marked off here, this tiny little isolation of price that we stay above, I would say, if we stay above 78, there's a pretty good chance that this is a news-driven reaction that could potentially still allow us to grind higher. So, guys, this is all the premise of understanding price action and volume this is what we teach at Hawkeye. This is all of our tools and components that you see on the screen here, the trend dots, the heat map, the volume. It's all composed of that foundation, 
right? If we don't understand price action, we don't understand volume, we don't understand how they work together, then we have really no anticipation of what may or may not happen next. But putting those components together, per perhaps capturing some weakness driven by a news release could keep the momentum playing here that we see Etsy push towards 90 bucks. Now, could it not happen? Totally possible, okay? But we've confirmed a push higher, we've confirmed support here. If we hold, and it all comes down to holding this area, can we stay above, I would say 78, continue to close above 78? What does close mean? At the end of every normal session, does the price continue to settle above 78? And if it does, there's a fairly good chance that we squeeze up here towards 90. Again, I'm going to put an estimate of two to three weeks, perhaps by year end, if we continue on with a Santa Claus rally, um, it is very well possible. So guys, if you want to learn more about price action, if you want to learn more about understanding how price moves, if you want to learn more about volume um, and how these components must be the foundation of every single uh technical interpretation. There's a bunch of links below this video. I encourage you to click on them. Um, if we're going to have some upcoming training sessions, I encourage you to join. Uh, I'll be sure to make sure I keep communication with you about how all of this is going to transpire. Uh, and in doing that, I want you to have the opportunity to learn these things that took me many years because nobody ever directed me towards them. They just wanted to sell me the next shiny thing rather than saying the shiny thing doesn't work if you don't own this first, if you don't understand this knowledge first. So I'm here to help you understand this knowledge first. So whatever shiny things you decide to employ in your trading, you're able to do it with a great amount of efficacy and a great amount of confidence because you know what is driving the market. And that is volume and price action. So our Hawkeye tools work on TradeStation, TradingView, Ninja Trader and Meta. So I don't know what platform you're using. Those are the four most popular. So, you know, if you, if you end up deciding you have questions about accessing the software and you'd like access to it, we're able to put, um, you know, we're able to help you get these to populate on any of those four platforms. It can be used for day trading, swing trading, uh, position style investing. It, it's really totally up to you. There's some videos throughout my YouTube channel. I encourage you to watch them. Um, feel free to send me an email, ask me any questions you want. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And of course, if I can do anything for you uh, in the interim, please let me know. I'm certainly here to serve you. And if you need to get in touch with our um, concierge team at Hawkeye, I'll be sure to make sure that I put in a personal uh, request on your behalf so that you are well taken care of. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope you found this informational. Um, listen, do I know with great certainty that Etsy is going to squeeze to $90? I do not. Um, but I do know that if we hold this area, there's a fairly good chance based on the presence of volume and the price action. Okay? So with that, every trade should be designed to be low risk, high probability, with a better reward than risk. So I believe that our price action is suggesting that price is likely to go higher. I believe that we have some buying volume in here. Yes, today may just be an anomaly based upon the news release. If this support on price action holds and we get buying volume to continue to come into this market and support this uptrend, there's a better than not chance that we will take a two to one risk reward opportunity from current levels into our first profit taking opportunity on Etsy. So again, hope you found this informational. It's certainly not financial advice by any means, uh, but it should be educational and informational in nature. And if you have questions, please, again, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to speak with you and assist you along your trading journey in any way I'm able to. God bless, and I will see you in the next video.